a warm welcome to you to Expressivo's Music Tech video number 47. I'm Marshall Shaw with more music creation ideas from the live outdoors to help celebrate the arts in you. In this video, I'll be putting on my educator's hat of many years to review other ways to compose music without the need to be able to read traditional music notation. Briefly, MIDI notation is the topic of today's video, an extremely important subject, especially for students who are hesitant to learn music theory or for traditionalist music teachers who are constricted by a long established curriculum, possibly time or pressures, and in many cases are not composers and may not see the importance of the holistic benefits of music creation. Much like the value of learning to read from phonics to words to sentences, music creation brings all aspects of music elements, including melody, rhythm, harmony, form, expression, and sound. Students experience the value of creating music first, compared with the learning of each element in isolation. MIDI notation has been around for many years, notably coming to the forefront on early computers and digital audio workstations. Its form can be described as rectangular shapes that can be lengthened or shortened depending on the duration of the notes. Its pitch is determined by its vertical placement. There is so much more to this description, so I'll be showing examples of this in a collection of apps that have been popular for three to five years and are still on my iPad today. For beginning music students of all ages, GarageBand for iOS or Mac has the best consolidated music creation tools or ecosystem in one place. However, Android users cannot benefit from this, so there are so many numerous MIDI-based notation apps that use this format, including up-to-date sounds and loops to inspire creation. They are also online, like sites that include Soundtrap and BandLab that you can check out, which are receiving rave reviews in their Facebook user sites and by educators, especially during the COVID lockdowns. I will be reviewing iOS apps, namely Medley, OxyPro, OxyJam, and Beatwave, which is for iOS and Google Play. Each app is similar using a grid style screen to finger control and input MIDI notation graphics for your melody, which is the lead, synth, bass, keyboards, and drums, or a variation of these. Each have in-app purchases to add instruments, but all include a sampling of instruments to get you started. Each app offers effects and basic mixing tools. These four apps are limited in what they can export, mainly an audio file in most cases. There are better apps if that is your primary goal. That may change if you subscribe to their various plans, monthly or yearly. But let's get started. Thank you, as always, for your kind support. I look forward to an exciting new year of music creation potential and encourage you to start or continue to celebrate the arts in you. Take care as always, and I'll see you in the next video.
There is something very enjoyable in using these apps to create almost instant music without the need to write the traditional music notation with all its intricate requirements. Each app offers a glimpse into why so many people choose this method to communicate their music. Check out Virtual Orchestra Facebook site if you want to see stellar examples of MIDI graphic notation played at its best, check out these apps mentioned here in this video or the online versions of Soundtrap and BandLab for their versatility. Please take a moment to subscribe to support my efforts to share music creation ideas regularly. Also, most video compositions created here are on SoundCloud. Keep making music and celebrate the arts in you. See you in the next video and as always, take the best of care.